The Assassin is a Chinese film that deserves to be in this series because I bought it on release day back in 2015 when it came out and never watched it. I honestly don't have a good reason why. After watching it all these years, it's pretty good. The film follows an assassin sent to kill a political figure. When she fails, she is sent to kill someone else from her past, making her think about her life. It's a pretty simple story, but never really feels fully developed in terms of character depth. What is well developed is the beautiful cinematography. This might be one of the best shot films so far on this list. Using black and white, grainy color, and changing aspect ratios to capture some truly stunning landscaping and outstanding wardrobe and set design pieces. There's some great shot composition, and it's one of those films that the visuals feel very layered that may need a few watches to truly see the depth on a visual side. And it kind of feels somewhat a Kurosawa-esque on a visual standpoint. However beautiful this film is though, it's very, 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 very slow. Characters even feel like they move slow at most parts. The few in between action set pieces are fun and well choreographed and they help break up the monotony of the slow dialogue scenes, but they are few and far between. I don't mind slow paced films, but you need to build to something, which this film doesn't do very well. When you have these pretty solid set pieces scattered around, it makes these slow long dialogue scenes seem even longer. There's not a very good rhythm to the pacing, which makes this hour 45 film feel much more like a two and a half hour film. The score in the film is pretty great. I love these old traditional kind of scores in these Eastern period pieces. I really love the ending score that goes into the credit score. There's a lot of great elements to this film, but it just boils down to the story and pacing for me. I'm sure there's gonna be some that won't have the same issues with this one as I did, so please judge for yourself. But if it wasn't for such strong visuals, sets and wardrobe and score, I could have easily seen myself checking out of this one.